Hello everyone, welcome to our English class. My name is Olga Napolivna. Today I'll be a teacher of English. For our lesson, we need to have your student's book. If you don't have it, all of the tasks will be shown on the screens. Today, we will continue speaking about meals. We'll speak about famous dishes from different countries. Please, look at three different pictures of three different breakfasts. Your task is to try to guess which breakfast Lee from China, Alessia from Belarus, and Ian from Scotland eat. Stop the video. Well done. We will listen to Alessia, Ian, and Lee describing their breakfast to check your guesses. Please stop the video and complete the table. Unit 3. Lesson 3. Exercises 2A to C. I'm Alessa. I live in Belarus. My breakfast is usually scrambled or boiled eggs, a piece of bread with cheese and ham, and a cup of tea. Sometimes I have a plate of kasha with a glass of milk. I am Ian. I live in Scotland. Every morning I have a bowl of porridge and a glass of milk or cereals with milk. On Sundays, we always have bacon and eggs with tomatoes. Sometimes we have black pudding. I always have a cup of milk tea, as my parents don't allow me to drink black or white coffee. I am Li from China. For breakfast, I eat a bowl of noodles or a plate of rice with some fish or some meat. Usually, beef or pork, and a plate of vegetables. Sometimes, it is simply a plate of vegetables when I need a quick breakfast. I also have a cup of good tea. I never drink milk. Did you manage to complete the table? Okay, well done. So, please, stop the video, look at the pictures, and try to guess the words in bold. Check your guesses. Okay, please look at the screen. Your task is to make up word combinations. Please stop the video. Check yourselves. Please look at the screen. Make a list of things you normally have for breakfast. You may use the word combinations from the previous tasks. Don't forget to stop the video. Please look at the screens. There are the names of the dishes and the countries they come from. Your task is to match the countries and the dishes. Please stop the video. Well done. Check yourself. Okay. If you have a book, please open it at page 72. If you don't, please look at the screen. We will listen to the texts that describe the famous dishes from different countries. Your task is to listen and check your guesses. Please be very attentive. Unit 3, Lesson 3, Exercise 4B Irish Stew Ireland's best-known dish is a stew from lamb or mutton. It is simmered in hot water with potatoes, mm -hmm. onions, carrots, leeks and pearl barley. Potatoes have been a most important food in Ireland since the 1800s. French onion soup is made of onions and beef or chicken stock. Thick slices of bread with some cheese on top are toasted in the oven and placed on top of each bowl of soup. 
Spaghetti Bolognese. This dish from Bologna mixes spaghetti with a meat and tomato sauce. Spaghetti is just one form of pasta. Each region of Italy has its own favourite types of pasta and its own special sauces. Greek salad is made with tomatoes, cucumber, black olives and cubes of feta, a white goat's cheese. It is sprinkled with herbs and olive oil. Goulash is Hungary's national dish. This stew is made with meat, onions and potatoes. It is often served with noodles and slices of black bread. Goulash is flavoured with paprika. Mushrooms, cabbage or peas may be added according to the choice of the cook. Sushi is a favourite food in Japan. Slices of very fresh fish, seafood and vegetables wrapped in seaweed are laid on rice. The rice is flavoured with vinegar. Although the ingredients are simple, a good chef makes sushi beautiful to look at as well as good to eat. Borscht is a classic Russian or Ukrainian soup. There are many different recipes, but beet is its main ingredient. This dish is eaten cold in summer and hot in winter. Sometimes meat or mushrooms, cabbage, carrots and potatoes are added. Machanka is used as a Belarusian traditional sauce for draniki or blini. It may be different in different regions. Most often it is made with pork, sausage, sliced onion, sour cream and flour. Did you manage to guess a lot? Great, thank you. Please. Stop the video, read the text again, and answer the following questions. Which of the dishes you have tried already? Which of the dishes you would like to try? Which has a simple recipe? Which has simple ingredients? Which is hard to cook? And which one you can cook by your own? Well done. Thank you. Please, stop the video. Your task is to think what Belarusian dishes are similar to the dishes from other countries and describe them. Don't forget to stop the video. Well done, great. Your whole task for the next class is exercise 5b at page 73 in your books. Your task is to write about your favorite Belarusian dish. Thank you for joining today's class. Goodbye. Have a nice day.